Hume's view on soft determinism I find is a particularly confusing view. However, today I think I've understood it, so I thought I'd do a little video post just talking a bit about it. I think the main thing you need to remember in terms of Hume and his view on soft determinism is the fact that he uh, believes that all of our knowledge comes from sensory experience. Everything we know and how we know it, it's all to do with us being able to experience it and a posteriori knowledge. He does agree that there are some analytic truths, but however, they have no meaning or value. It's purely synthetic truths. So what he's trying to say is that we can't observe or experience cause and effect. It does not exist, What he's, is what he says. He says, but rather what we see happening is one event, to and another event and we just sort of join it in our minds and because of the regularity and um, you know stability in our environment on earth we can see that every time I drop a pen it tends to fall down yeah but he's not saying it's not like this is this is the cause me uh, letting go of the pen and the effect is dropping because that would mean that never ever when I drop the pen will the pen go flying up. Hume is open to the possibility that it might go flying up but what he's just saying is that there can be never cause and effect it's just two actions which are happening and we have linked it in our mind by the constant conjunction of events in our mind and this regularity and order in the world because it happens so many times this is uh, the part of um, us and our actions which is determined however our free will which is also um, determined that is what causes these actions to happen so our free will is my ability to choose whether to let this pen go or not we can choose whether to act or not and however but it's determined because of the regularity and order and constant conjunction of the minds not cause and effect that this pen will fall to the ground However, it's possibility that it might do something else. So this is why Hume is a soft determinist. And I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Please visit my blog.